um, the, the things I know and the things that we could also take from some expert interviews are in an article on, on our website, on China Talk. Uh, I've, I've uh, written that together with uh, the Tech Boss China team. Um, I don't know how, uh, how much, as far as, as content creators are concerned, how much Timu is behind that or if it's organically something that these content, uh, or content creators do. I've seen some review videos and yeah. mm, uh, considering that some of them are quite critical, I think most of them seem to be uh, yeah, not, not, not incentivized by Timu. But this, again, this is a couple of weeks ago. And things change change very quickly. Yeah. What I but I have noticed is because uh, uh, in in September I did a very short clip uh, myself in which basically I said, well, this is a new company, and the company that's behind it is the Chinese e-commerce company uh, Pindodo. Um, and that that video, because it was one of the few videos available, has ha has had a lot of views recently, and also a lot of people commenting. Also, people uh, uh, being a bit suspicious, as, uh, if you mention that it's a Chinese company, there's all kinds of things yeah. and, and crazy theories coming up. <laughs> so uh, yesterday, I even had somebody that said, well, I don't know, you, you now have this Chinese app. And, and last week, we had that balloon from China. <laughs> so, so there's a couple of conspiracy um, paranoids out there as well. Um, so I, yeah, I don't know how much... It is uh, how much is incentivized. I do um, feel that compared to some other uh, initiatives from Chinese cross-border companies, I've actually found their uh, social media content that I've seen on Twitter, at least, actually quite compelling. Um, and and it seems I don't know if they are working with a very good agency in in the US, but they seem to have better localization of. Uh, consumer trends or consumer preferences than some other companies that have tried, I think. Another thing that I noticed is uh, because very early in September, I actually signed up, uh, but I, I couldn't do any test orders. Normally, I, I would do some test orders, but I couldn't do that because, uh, like I said, I don't live in the US. Yeah. Um, and I only got a couple of very, not very professional, not very well-designed uh, welcome emails. So I wasn't impressed at that time. Yeah, I saw uh, in your blog post. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it was very dodgy, very shabby at the time. Uh, but in early January, I think just after after New Year's Day, I started getting daily emails. So they must have shifted from uh, not just doing customer acquisition, but also those people that are already registered, trying to activate them yeah. through uh, daily emails. And that started at least with, with my email address in January. So so you can see that they are now having multiple funnels going on basically, multiple tracks, not just acquiring new customers, but also trying to uh, to activate them um, yes. and reactivate them with, uh, with repurchases, I think. <laughs> <laughs>